Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. We have a big, big update with Melania Trump that I will be sharing with you guys. And with Donald J. Trump, this mainly has to do with them running for president and trying to secure a second term in the White House. We have a new update as of today with uh, Melania Trump that I'm really ecstatic to share with you guys. This woman is amazing in my opinion and wow, do I really miss Donald Trump and Melania Trump and do I, am I upset with Joe Biden and Jill Biden, which uh, we have some updates as well. Donald J. Trump just gave a new speech in Iowa last night and I wanted to talk about that because, you know, I think it's important. Um, we also have some new updates with Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton getting exposed even more. There are new documents that just came out with the Epstein court documents that I want to discuss. And um, the Pentagon, uh, there's they just got exposed. So we have a, a few things to cover. Um, and also Donald J. Trump, he's holding two events this week at two churches and they are faith-filled events where Donald J. Trump, you know, in my opinion, um, he has been really good at worshiping God and trying to get people to understand the importance of not worshiping the government, but worshiping God, which in my opinion, that's the most important thing, you know, we could do right now is turn our eyes to God. And that's what Trump is really trying to do and you know Mike Johnson said we, you know we're in a Red Sea moment our country is changing God is raising up leaders and I don't know Donald Trump heading to two churches this week to give um, speeches and hold events I really wish I could go it would really be cool um, because it would just be a blessing to be able to witness a living legend I really do think Donald Trump is a living legend and i think once he dies he will be missed he will be remembered and hopefully he doesn't get locked up because that would just be heartbreaking um and anyways we have some updates with him going to the supreme court as well firstly happy sunday want to say we're gonna read the bible and then jump into the melania trump update okay that uh because god comes first amen comment amen if you believe that this is psalm 96 one of my new favorite Psalms that I've been uh, reading lately, so I wanna share it with you guys. Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations. His marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him, all the earth. Say among the nation, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea resound, resound and all that is in it. Amen. I really, really like this one because number one, it's worshiping God. And number, it's like a worship to God. And number two, it's telling you to tell other people about God's goodness. So I thought that was really cool. All right, we have a big update with Melania Trump um, uh, uh, heading into the joining up with Donald Trump with the 2024 campaign. I want to share this update. So Melania Trump has largely retreated from public life. This is a new article that just came out on uh, wonderwall.com. I want to share with you guys. 
Melania Trump largely retreated from public life after her four years as first lady came to an end, but she's now ready to step back into the spotlight. A new report claims. Page Six reports the former fashion model feels that she can now begin devoting more time to campaigning for her husband, former President Donald Trump, now that their son Barron is 17 years old and has a life of his own. Right, Barron is growing up. Although he has many legal battles to fight, Donald Trump and his inner circle are convinced he'll win the 2024 presidential election. He wants his wife, Melania Trump, to get more involved in the process. Trump did come out and say that Melania will be joining him on the campaign trail very soon. Donald Trump said, I like to keep my wife out of it mainly, and I like to keep protect her because it's nasty. That's what Trump said. I want to protect her from the nastiness. However, it seems to be that Melania Trump cares so much about America that she, she feels that she has no choice but to get more involved. And we saw that Melania Trump hosted an event at a naturalization ceremony, welcoming new citizens into our nation. And she spoke so highly of America during that speech, the mainstream media probably won't share that with you guys. But Melania Trump has a deep, deep respect for America. She came here from Slovenia and became a citizen herself, the legal way. She didn't sneak in through the border like millions of people are doing right now thanks to the biden administration and thanks to people like you know people in office like governor gavin newsom who are giving illegal aliens free health care in california no melania trump actually became a citizen and she welcomed people who followed the actual law to come to america and she said this is a great nation and she actually told them you have a responsibility to follow the law and to be good citizens. Okay, so the source told page six, Trump and his family are so secure that he will become president again that insiders at Mar-a-Lago say he's reached an agreement with Melania to step up top tier diplomatic appearances in 2024. Yeah, so there's a lot of people who, you know, are members at Mar-a-Lago and Donald Trump is, he's very active, you know, because it is obviously not only his residence, but he's it's his club. And he likes to spend time with people at the club, at his at the Mar-a-Lago club. We've even we've even see, we've have even seen that Donald Trump spent time with Epstein while Epstein was a member at Mar-a-Lago and Ghislaine Maxwell. They were even seen partying together. Now, you the media will share with you that, but the media probably won't tell you also that Trump kicked out Epstein. Uh, as soon as Epstein started getting creepy. Apparently Epstein hit on one of the member's daughters and Trump said, no Epstein, you can't do that. One strike and you're out. And Trump kicked him out of there. But anyways, these people at Mar-a-Lago, they hear Trump talking and they tell media outlets, you know, I'm sure there's some money involved or whatever, but apparently what's going on, the news around Mar-a-Lago is that Melania Trump is going to step back in. The immediate family, including Melania, is solid, solidly behind the former president, the insider added. Yeah, we've even seen uh, Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump say that, oh, we're going to stay out of the 2024 campaign for Trump. However, Jared Kushner, he even set up a uh, TV interview between Donald Trump and Univision, which is the biggest uh, Spanish language network in America, Univision, and Donald Trump had an interview on there. And we've even seen that Trump is leading amongst Hispanic voters. So even Jared Kushner is supporting Trump. I think just their family and everybody in their circle is so ecstatic for Trump 2024. Melania Trump is slowly beginning to step out from the confines of Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida. In late November, she attended former First Lady Rosalind Carter's funeral alongside several other former First Ladies. Donald Trump's wife, Melania, is feeling more sure of herself as both her husband's representative and her own position as a diplomatic figure after her positive reception at the Carter funeral. 
In December, she also spoke at a National Archives ceremony. Um, here we go. A source said Melania realizes it's her time to join the ranks of historic first ladies and leave her mark on history. The insider added that Donald Trump misses feels better prepared for her potential role the second time around. Melania Trump recently joined Donald Trump at an award ceremony at their home at Mar-a-Lago. Wow, very cool. The, they were both in great moods, a source said of the pair. Melania was going around greeting everyone. Wow, how amazing would that be to be at Mar-a-Lago and Melania Trump comes up to you and says, Hi, it's so nice to meet you with her cute little accent. And then Donald Trump's standing there too. That would just be a dream come true. And yeah, we've, we've even seen that Melania Trump's been very involved. I mean, I think it's very interesting because usually when people go to media outlets, they go and they talk crap about people. But this insider at Mar-a-Lago said, no, this is amazing news. And they were so honestly kind of ecstatic to go out and tell the media, hey, Donald Trump and Melania Trump are excited. The energy is amazing. They couldn't keep their mouth shut. And I actually kind of think it's pretty cool that they went and told the media because the media was like, oh, you got some dirt on Melania Trump. They're like, no, they are excited about 2024. I also want to share this. So uh, like I said, Donald Trump will be heading to faith filled events in Iowa next week, which I will be sharing with you guys because I think that that is awesome. So Trump will be heading to, he's in Iowa right now, and he's going to two Iowa faith events with uh, GOP Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Mike Huckabee. How cool is that? Donald Trump, um, they, uh, they will be supporting Trump at the Hawkeye State Faith Events. Obviously, they are really preparing ahead of the Iowa caucuses, and Donald Trump's lead in the polls has hardened ahead of the Iowa caucuses. Donald Trump is doing outstanding right now. And 52% of Iowa GOP voters back Trump, which is very, very good news. Uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders told Fox News she is excited to head back to Iowa on Monday to campaign for Trump because we need his leadership back in the White House. So that's tomorrow. They are going to... Um, Hickory Grove Community Church in Ottawa, Iowa, and the second one will be at First Church of God in Des Moines, Iowa. And I just want to share this little clip of Trump talking about how important it is to not worship the government but worship God. Trump really, really, where you know, wants people to realize this is we don't get you know we don't idolize the government. We don't idolize government leaders. He's like, you're not idolizing, idolizing me, but we need to worship God. Let's listen in to, to Trump. Society. People love Trump. They miss him. They really do. And we know that families and churches, not government officials, know best how to create a strong and loving community. Amen to that. And above all else, we know this. In America, we don't worship government. We worship God. See? What a great quote. That should be on a... That should be framed. There should be a photo with Trump and God and... Wow, they're chanting USA and giving a standing ovation. USA, USA. How beautiful is that? So lovely. Our religious liberty is enshrined in the very first amendment in the Bill of Rights. Mm. The American founders invoked our creator mm. four times in the Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Franklin reminded his colleagues at the Constitutional Convention to begin by bowing their heads in prayer. I remind you that we're going to start saying Merry Christmas again. <laughs> 
I love that. I, also, I love how like respectful Trump is to God and he's like really Trump he has two sides to him that uh, actually Trump shared a video called God made Trump the other day and I was watching it and I can't share it with you guys because there's a bunch of music in there but he based in the video it says God cho God created Trump he God created somebody who needs to be both very fierce of destroying kind and kind of taking down and conquering and kind of talking about um, you know you know you need to be have some anger in you to go after the bad the bad guys and kind of you know take down some of these basically you know fight against or try not to use language <laughs> but bad language but to go after liberals right and but he also God he also said that God created Trump to be gentle as well and loving and kind. And if you go to if you've ever seen a Trump rally video, like you can just feel the energy. People are so happy there. Um, Trump urges his supporters to vote, vote, vote. Trump gave a speech last night in Iowa. The GOP frontrunner series of events come as his campaign seeks to turn out thousands of first-time caucus goers. Trump tells his supporters to vote, vote, vote. He said, don't stay home, just please. The polls are showing we're gonna win by a lot. The worst thing you can do is say, let's just stay home, Alice. Let's watch it on TV. We don't wanna do that. You gotta get out because the more we win by, we're shooting for November because we wanna send a message. We can't be beaten. Oh, that's cool. So Trump wants to really start off the caucus is super strong to send a message. I love that. Um, so, quick update with Hillary Clinton. Her name has emerged in the new batch of Jeffrey Epstein documents. Former Secretary of State, which by the way, I can't believe she was our Secretary of State at one time or another. Um, but in freshly published, publicized documents, Hillary Clinton's name has appeared in the latest batch, as well as more mentions of Bill Clinton. And this is concerning Epstein. The appearance of Clinton's name is not evidence of any illegal activity, but they did, um, in these latest documents, they did have um, Ghislaine Maxwell's phone records and Hillary Clinton's name was mentioned. They did reach out to Hillary Clinton's spokesperson and they have not responded. No surprise there. I. If I was Hillary Clinton, I probably wouldn't respond e either. Maxwell is currently serving a 20 year prison sentence. She has, she was convicted of, you know, those charges and Bill Clinton has remained, has made multiple appearances in the unsealed documents. Flight logs indicate that the former president took several rides on Epstein's private jet known as the Lolita Express. Trump and others also flew on the plane as well. Okay, uh, Donald J. Trump is heading to the Supreme Court to basically talk about um, the the uh, Colorado GOP, the Colorado ruling that Trump that banned Trump from being on the 2024 ballot. Um, and apparently, really quick update with the Pentagon: the White House is kind of exposing the Pentagon and saying that the Pentagon did not inform Biden or the White House for days about Lloyd Austin's hospitalization. So if you guys know Lloyd Austin, he was hospitalized. And the Pentagon did not tell Joe Biden and other top officials about Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's hospitalization for three days. That's a very long time for somebody like Lloyd Austin because he is the defense secretary, he's probably gonna get in trouble for this because, um, or uh, maybe it wasn't his own fault, but maybe he couldn't communicate or what, I don't know what it was, but this is the own secretary of defense in the Pentagon, didn't tell the White House that he was hospitalized for three days? I mean, what if something super, super serious happened? We need our leaders to have communication. That's basic skills that you should have. Basic, the day one stuff is communicate. What if, you know, I mean, look at uh, even the, 
The Pentagon spokesperson Pat Ryder says there's blinking lights everywhere talking about our terrorist threat from other nations. And then you have the Pentagon Lloyd Austin saying, oh, I was hospitalized for three days and tell any, tell, I didn't tell the White House. It's just very, very fishy to me. So anyways, let me know your thoughts with this update with Melania, Donald Trump, and yeah, let me know what you think about them heading into the 2024 election. Thanks for watching.